in the last of Aram Sobedu. We saw the different types of Japanese metronome musket and its beautiful history. Well, with that we do, I found the situation, and I believe you also have found this point. If you have watched this video, this is a moment. It's a unit of weight and was used to measure the size of the bullet of Japanese musket. But it's not like nowadays we use the less units to rule the size. Just like the 5.56 rifles and the 9mm pistols, those modern firearms all use the caliber as the basic data. In addition, it is also different from ancient Europe. In the 19th century or 18th century, the caliber was an important data for those European muskets in history as well. So in this video, let's talk about something about the caliber of the Japanese musket. Notice there are many ancient Japanese muskets that survived from hundreds of years ago. So it's not a very hard thing to measure the caliber of those old muskets in a museum directly. And also we can find the list introducing the caliber. Indeed, this is a good way and it's very convenient. But today, I'm going to change to another direction to calculate the caliber. According to ancient data, of the weight of the musket's bows. To calculate the data, in some ways, maybe this might be a kind of respect effect of the book from the ancient time. If we want to get the result of the caliber data, but just according to the weight, we will need a formula which can transform the weight into the length in caliber. Therefore, we need to use some knowledge of high school. The density formula and the bow volume formula we can use the density formula to get the volume. Then, we need to take this volume to the bow volume equation. Finally, we just get this formula that we want. In addition, because lead always was the most popular material of the basket's bow bullet. So, we can use this lead density and take it to the equation and we will use one movement weight bullet as the example. Okay, now we can try to get the final result, but in the last step, our result must multiply by 2 because this is radiant, as the caliber is a diameter. Now we finally get the caliber. Now when we see this result that we figured out, actually, it is very close to the caliber list. It was noting that, actually, this is not the simplest way to get the caliber data, but compared with the way of checking the caliber list using the formula, can get any caliber corresponding to the different weight of bullets like 2.5 mm or 50 mm which were not included into the list. But the only bad point is that we can't know the barrier caliber. So we have to estimate it according to the bullet's caliber. After having the caliber, if we want to operate the basket, the next step will be the counting of the gunpowder. As we can see, nowadays there are many people who still love this kind of old school firearm. So we are able to read some blogs about their experience of shooting old musket, which were shared on the internet. Like this blog, the writer mentioned the ratio of the bow bullet weight to the powder was 3 to 1. Just like the bullet used by the writer was about 9.07 grams and the corresponding powder weight was about 3 grams. In addition, in Europe, this ratio also may be used in European army. In fact, due to the quality and the types of musket and the gunpowder, the ratio of bullets to powder was not the constant data. But overall, this 3 to 1 ratio could be the ruler of judging the quantity of powder. Plus, according to the blog, this ratio is used for the standard size musket like Kozutsu, which was mentioned in the last video. But if this is a pistol musket like Tanzutsu, the gunpowder charge will be less, such as the 6.7 grams weight bullet ball. This powder charge is only 0.81 grams. Finally, Although the gunpowder used only about 3 grams for a normal size Japanese musket, its powder is not big. When we see some experiment 
on the inlet. A musket was able to punch through the steel board that was a one millimeter sink in a thirty meters range. An average shot can hit the center of the aim, but if the range was forty meters, the accuracy and the power would be dropped partly. But because most of this equipment, like the gunpowder of the iron of the barrier, were built in the modern time, it probably has some difference with the situation of musket in the Edo period. But overall, it still can be a kind of reference to study the ancient Japanese musket. Okay, this is today's video. And also, it's something I noticed recently. I'm very glad I can share this story with you. This is the second look of Japanese musket. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.